Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Let's study about the beautiful part of chemistry, the calculations of atoms, molecules, and ions. Because in the chemical industries, the as a chemist, I mean, think about the life of a chemist. Then I did. They need to understand. They need to determine the amount of product, amount of byproduct, even the amount of unwanted product in the chemical reactions in the chemical industries. So in this aspect, and of course that this part of the chemistry, that is the concept of mole, is very very important. Both SSC English versions and uh, current college students and even O level students, this class is another foundations of chemistry. Though I have said the similar things that the foundation of chemistry is, but this class is something very very important and you know that there are some key points that we need to understand throughout the whole series of class and you need to know that in which part of chemistry these calculations of atoms and ions and molecules in case of product and react has been discussed is called stoichiometry so this stoichiometry is a very very important in case of chemical industries and this is a part and parcel of a life of a chemist so you students those who were studying these i'm requesting you that to learn this topic this chapter from your heart so that you understand all the parts of par parts of every single topic now think that what we need to learn at first we need to learn about the concept of mole and this class is about the concept of mole and then the next class would be the following topics like molar volume of gas molar solutions percentage of compositions in elements so percentage composition which is very easy but some of students may, f may have some experience of toughness but see empirical formula molecular formula balancing chemical equations limiting reactant and percentage of iod so see every single topic is important and of course you need to know first that what is mole suppose if i say that one dozen one dozen of jelly beans that what you understand by the word one dozen we understand that through this one dozen that is 12 or even if we said one pair of electrons one pair of electrons then we think this is two electrons or even we said that one dozen of banana then we'll understand this is 12 bananas so this word dozen is used to determine the number of anything as 12 but when we say like we said that 100 like we said that this is 100 1000 that means 1 triple zero but whenever in chemistry we say one mole this word expresses a fixed number and this is 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 and this is huge and it's, this number is known as Avogadro number. Avogadro number. So why this is important in chemistry? First to learn that what is mole? Mole means amount. So an amount where this number of ions, this number of molecules, this number of atoms contain. So this is called a mole. So whatever you can say that one mole hydrogen, it means that this amount of hydrogen molecule, even this amount of hydrogen atom or ions. So usually in chemistry, in case of mole, we will think about atom, we will think about molecule and ions, especially these three. So, what is mole? The amount of substance which contain 6.02 times 10 to the power 3 ions, molecules or atoms, etc. This amount 
is called one mole of that amount so of that elements so one mole means this amount so you just think in case of like starting mole we need to we need to memorize this big amount it means that 610 times 1 and then we need to put 230 and it's a hexatrillion so it's a big number now you think that if I say that one mole iron it means that 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 ions if I say that one mole atom then it's equal to 6102 times 10 to the power 23 atom similarly in case of any moles like one mole molecules any molecules like water molecules carbon dioxide molecule ammonia molecule methane molecule whatever that one mole of that element is equal to this number of that element I mean 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 so why this is very important because we need to calculate the number of atoms or number of molecules or number of ions in the reactions so these calculations of this amount is known as stoichiometry and we need to understand more because this chapter deals with number of calculations so some mathematical calculations is coming to you that you need to understand how to solve it so another way we can express this mole suppose suppose this is okay what is the molecular mass of water so you know that molecular mass of hydrogen is 1 times 2 plus molecular mass of oxygen is 16 so you can say this is 18 now we know that this 18 is is the molecular mass of water or even you say this is methane so we say that carbon is 12 hydrogen is 1 times 4 so we say this is 16 so we know that this 16 is the molecular mass of methane now if we just express this number as an amount of substance like 16 gram methane then we can say this is one mole methane this is very important like one mole methane it means the amount of methane is 16 gram where where the number of methane molecule is 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 that amount of methane molecule so you, I hope you understand like whenever I express as the I just find out the molecular mass of a compounds and then I express it as an amount as a mass of that amount that is 16 gram and which is equal 1 mole methane similarly in case of water that means 18 gram water is actually 1 mole water so in 1 mole water there are in this 18 gram water there are 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 molecule of water so it means that if I like consist of in 18 gram of water it consists 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 molecule number of water so this is very important suppose sulfuric acid this is very well known chemical compounds in the chemical industry so H2SO4 we know the molecular mass of sulfuric acid which would be 98 how so you know that hydrogen 1 times 2 plus sulfur the atomic mass is 32 and plus oxygen is 16 together so 16 times 4 which is actually 98 so if I express this molecular mass into gram that 98 gram sulfuric acid 
then we can say that in these 98 grams sulfuric acid it contain 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 molecule high sulfuric acid molecule so if the question is that how many how many molecules are in 98 gram sulfuric acid so we say that as 98 gram 98 is the relative molecular mass of sulfuric acid so that 98 gram sulfuric acid is one mole and in one mole sulfuric acid there are 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 sulfuric acid molecule which is known as Avogadro number so this is Avogadro number or oh, I just wrote it, Avogadro number because this is a fixed number where it is widely used in one mole of any elements of any molecules like if I say that how many molecules are in one mole potassiums like if I say that in potassiums ion if I say that one mole potassium ion contain this number of potassium ion so I hope these three examples gives you an idea and again if you say that suppose in case of atom in case of atom suppose carbon or carbon okay we know the atomic mass of carbon is 12 so in this 12 gram carbon in 12 gram carbon we must know that there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23 not molecule that this number of atom so in 12 gram carbon 6.02 times 10 to the 23 carbon atoms are there so this is the atomic mass where this number of atom will be present but this is actually a molecule where this number of molecule will be present so you should not mix it up so in case of in case of single atom you must consider the atomic mass of that element suppose phosphorus like p so in case of p phosphorus we know that the molecular mass of phosphorus is 31 so 31 gram phosphorus is one mole phosphorus where this amount of atom is present atom not the molecule because this is atom so in case of symbol in case of atom you must consider the number 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 but in atom so in stoichiometry we will consider molecules atoms and ions so now if you go some sort of like mathematical explanations like okay i'm just removing it okay so if the question is that how many molecules are in 5 gram sulfuric acid so if the question is that how much or how many how many molecules are in 5 gram sulfuric acid so how many molecules are in 5 gram sulfuric acid if this is the question so we know that the molecular mass of sulfuric acid is 98 so we know that 98 gram sulfuric acid is one mole sulfuric acid and in this one mole sulfuric acid there are 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 molecules are present so in 98 gram sulfuric acid these amount of molecule are present the, now the question is how many molecules are present in 5 gram sulfuric acid so if we say that in 98 gram there are 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 amount of molecule so in 5 gram it would be like 
6.02 times 10 to the power 23 times 5 divided by 98. So the answer would be, now I need a calculator. So you can say that 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 times 5 divided by divided by 98. So this is 3.07 times 10 to the power 22. So I hope you understand. And suppose if the question is, if the question is, I hope you understand, so I'm removing it. If the question is that, that what is the mole of water in 5 gram water? I mean, if the question is that 5 gram water is equal to how much mole? So, what is equal to, what is the mole number present in 5 gram water? So, if this is the question, now you think that this is water and we know the molecular mass of water is 18. So, that means, that means this 18 gram water is 1 mole water. And here, 6.02 times 23 water molecule are present. But the thing is, I just only was asked that 5 gram water is how much mole? So the number of molecules is not the considerations in these questions. So we say that 18 gram water is 1 mole. Now you see that 5 gram water is how much more? It's very simple like 1 times 5 by 18 mole and this is this is 5 divided by 18. It's 0 point sorry 5 divided by 18. It's 0 0.277 that means 0 0.28 mole. And if the question is that that how many water molecule are present in 5 gram water then we need to think about this molecule number and we know that, that the question is that how many molecules are present in 5 gram water so we know that in 18 gram there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecule are present right so now question is how many molecules are present in 5 gram and this is this is 6.02 times 23 times 5 over 18 so the, the answer is 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 into 5 divided by 18 and the answer is 1.67 into 10 to the power 23 so this is 1.67 into 10 to the power 23. So this is understandable. I mean from this class the calculation has begun. I mean there are a number of mathematical problems is coming towards in this chapter and we need to we need to do these things I mean, without any error and understanding the concept. And of course you'll have more mathematical problems in this class molar solution here we need to find out the molarity of any solutions and of course percentage composition there is a mathematics empirical formula molecular formula there is a mathematics and most important part of this chapter is limiting reactant this is very very important and here there are some mathematical problems that we need to solve and also in last topic the percentage of yield there are some also mathematical problems, but this is very easy. So I hope you understand this. But the last question, but not the least, is that if the question is that what is the mass of one atom of uranium? If the question is what is the mass of one atom of uranium? If this is the question, uranium, we know that uranium the, the molecular mass of the atomic mass of uranium is 238 or even 235. So we know 
that 238 the atomic mass of uranium as its atomic number is 92 hopefully so we know in the, why I said the uranium because uranium is very you know massive like here uranium is a big I mean radioactive element so the question is what is the mass of one atom uranium if this is the question then the the atomic mass is 238 so we said that 238 gram uranium is one mole uranium okay and here is present 6.02 10 to the power 23 atom of uranium now you think what is the mass of one uranium atom now we can say that as this is the mass of this amount of atom so we can say it reversely that 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 this amount of atom is equal to 238 gram 238 gram if this is the questions I mean, equations now you think the question was what is the mass of one uranium atom now from the atomic mass we can make calculations that this amount of atoms mass is 238 gram now one atom is simply 238 divided by 6.02 10 to the power 23 gram and this is about something something like that okay 238 by 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 is 3.95 so 3.95 times 10 to the power minus 22 gram and I hope you understand these uh, calculations so see you on the next class and I'm coming up with these the following topics so take care stay well stay blessed bye